Welcome back to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to go over the ledge hanging sample that I have on my itch page. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so when you open up the project, you're going to be greeted with this scene here. And we're just going to go over real quick the concept of it. This ledge hang system is using the area detection method. So you can see I have an area detection layer here in which I place these tiles. Now, if you click on this tile and or right click on it, it will highlight it on the screen here. And we can right click and go to edit. And it's going to take us to that tile. And you can see that I have it when object overlaps tile of the player group, then you're going to assign area detection one. Now I'm, I'm sure we're all aware of area detection, but just in case that is what area detection is. If you are overlapping this tile, your area detection variable will be one. Now what needs to overlap this tile? Let's go to the animation tab for that. And what needs to overlap is the center, this red dot. Now this red dot is moved between frames. So you can see that this first frame has a red dot different now than the second, third, and fourth frame. Now we want these generally to be the same. So I'm just going to put this back and you will notice that I put the center at the origin point, which the origin point is the center where the vertical line and the horizontal red lines meet. So right now the origin point is the center and that is important for this system. If you're going to want this to work properly, there, there is a workaround, but if you're going to want this to work real properly, you're going to need to have the center at the origin. And so then if we go back to the scene here and go to the player layer here and grab this object, we can see that you remember that the area detections in this tile and this tile, we can see that when the player jumps, the feet or the origin right here is going to detect that you're in area detection one. So as long as we're in this area, that is going to be one of the steps for ledge hanging. Now, there is a caveat here. Let's say that your character is a bigger character. Let's just pretend that it's, it's not a stretched character. It's actually a real longer character. And you just have a bigger scene in general, whatever, you know, the, the wall's higher. You're going to want to ha possibly have that area detection lower. You might want it on this frame right here. So if you jump like this, and you skip this area, and then you start to fall, it actually won't snap until you're in this area detection. So you would just go to this area, you would take tile and put it on this area. And maybe you want both, maybe you want both to just snap you real quick, but you might just want it like that. So I just want you to know that your setup is going to be a little different depending on how big your sprite is, and where exactly you want it to connect at. All right, so with that out of the way, let me rescale this object here back to normal and put him, well, we could just set him right there for now. And now we want to see what this object is actually doing. So let's go to edit base object and it will take you to the object. And from here, you can see that it's just a normal, simple player controller waiting, walking, jump. But then around fall is where we get something a little different. So with fall, we actually have two different links. One link is going to be checking if the player is in area detection one and is in contact with a left facing tile, meaning that you're jumping, basically looking left and hitting a tile from the, your left wall detection. And you can have this, this can be, this is a choice really, if you're pressing left or not, you don't really need that. And then the other one is, the same thing, except for you're pressing right, if you want that, and you need to be touching a right tile. Now, the reason I did it this way, and the reason I did include the input is that you could do this, you could say left or right, but there were some cases where you were jumping and turning real quick, and you were actually snapping in the opposite direction. So by just providing these two separate links, you're sort of separating it out being a little more specific and you won't run into as many errors. So once one of these conditions are true, it will go to the hang ledge, which is a animation here. And you'll have to set this animation's position. If we go to it real quick here on it, I just called it grapple. You'll have to set the position to where it looks the best when it snaps. So you can notice that I did actually have to move this up six minus six. And to be honest on grapple, I would remove the wall detection. I don't know why I didn't do that. So I, I would personally, that way you're not clipping anything. Um, if you absolutely need it, you, you could just make sure that nothing is around the area of snap that you could clip basically. That's, that is the important part is that you can't clip anything. 
So personally, I would remove the wall detection on grapples because you're stuck there. It's not like you're moving. You ignore movement, you ignore direction, ignore gravity, all that stuff. And it doesn't matter. You don't need one for right or left because we just have it set up using the normal directions here. So that's good on that. And you're basically doing the snap the uh, snap equation, which I do have a plugin for if you are interested in using the plugin instead of this. So you're only doing this for the Y coordinate. So you're taking your, but if you, if you don't have my plugin, then you're basically saving the Y coordinate position. You are dividing it by the tile size. You are then modulating it by the maximum amount of pixels that would be on the scene. And in our case, an easy number is 10,000. And then you are going to retimes it. Now that you have the mod of it, you're going to retimes it by the tile size. That gives you an even number of what grid you're in. And then we're going to plus 16 because you're actually moving up a grid or you want the Y up on top of it. So for instance, on this scene, I wanted the Y right here when I snapped. And a lot of that did with how it positioned and all this other stuff. So this, this part could be optional depending on how you position the animation. So just note to that. But for this project specifically, plus 16 was, it gave me the desired outcome. And then after that, we're making the Y equal the saved Y that we did this equation on. And that's really all that this is, all right? So you will be stuck in this action until you press up. And then I also added another condition that is required, which is in, in my case, I needed to know which way that the player's facing. So in this case, if you're facing right, and pressing up, and then I added this after a certain amount of time. It's not required, but I didn't want it to be too automatic when, when you're holding up, and then it just instantly goes to that. And then if those conditions are true, you'll go to a L climb up action. Now I should have named this left wall climbing up because what you're actually doing is you're moving right. You can see that you're moving right in a 15 degree angle about a tile. And then I set a duration and stuff like that. So that, that's the move up. I'm also using a climb up animation. So then when the animation is done, it goes back to waiting. And the same thing, but just for the right wall climb up. So in this case, you would be moving left and that's how I do it. But yeah, when you are done with that, you can actually just play test and this all goes uh, really good. You can climb grapples, you move up and you're up. Same thing on the other side. And yeah, so it's a pretty good system. There are other systems like object ones where you can have an object right here with an FOV. And if the wall detection hits the FOV, you can wall climb. So do note that there is other situations like that. But in that case, you'd have to have a object right here, an object right here, uh, maybe an object right here, an object on all these things. Whereas with this method, if you can work in the area detection, you could just start doing things like, you know, have it like that, like that. And remember though, you would have to have a wall detection going down. So right now this would not work because this is a one, one way tile. And so since there's no wall detection going down like this, this will not work. So you might have, you might do a mix. You might have, you know, all that stuff, but objects are always the heaviest thing in your game. So you want as little as possible in your scenes. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Like subscribe. If you find this content useful, consider Patreon for support. Any questions, comments below, steam forms, we'll get you figured out. That said, I'll see you at the next video.